Well, I'm joined by Senator Richard Shelby, the Republican from Alabama, served a long time on the Intelligence Committee, was vice chairman of that panel at the time of 9-11. Thanks for the time, first Thank of you, all. Peter. Your reaction to news of Osama bin Laden's death, how significant a victory is this? This is a significant victory. It shows uh, where the intelligence agencies led uh, by the CIA and the special forces uh, led by the Navy SEALs working together, coordinating are getting the job done. Uh, this is this is a manifestation of that. Uh, I believe it's it's a signal success. It's you know it's one battle in a war. It's going to last a long time. But give them credit. It's good good work. Good work. And do you believe today that America is safer than it was, say, even 24 hours ago? I don't know if it's safer, but I think we have more confidence uh, that we are making success. But we've got a long way to go. But uh, this man has, uh, has run from us, hid from, hidden from us, killed his own people, killed a lot of our people for a long time. He's no longer. What about the fact that he was found in Pakistan at a house in this suburban community of Islamabad, not too far from the equivalent of their West Point? This was a man who was living pretty freely in Pakistan. I, I don't think that surprised anyone uh, that has followed and worked with the intelligence services. Uh, Pakistan is a, uh, what I would call a reluctant ally. Uh, they've got one foot uh, in the camp, I would think, with Taliban uh, and one foot in you the camp with us. You think they knew he was there? Oh, I think they knew or had reason to believe. That was too close. Uh, the Pakistani intelligence services have, have spawned and been involved with the Taliban a long time. This is al-Qaeda. Uh, but. Uh, there's, that's a state that's a powder keg itself. All right, let me bring you back home domestically because I know in the midst of all this, your state is dealing with an incredible natural disaster, the tornadoes that come through, even your hometown. Tell us a little bit about how Alabama is doing right now, the hit this is going to mean to the Alabama economy. Well, it's going to hurt. Uh, not just my hometown of Tuscaloosa, which uh, you've seen so much of, but uh, the Birmingham area, uh, the uh, North Alabama area, Rainsville and uh, uh, Hackleburg and so forth. Uh, we have lost a lot of lives. A lot of people are still missing, but we've got untold property damage on top of that. But, but the people of Alabama are resilient. They're going to hang in there. And uh, uh, outpouring all over this country, the people are coming in there from everywhere to help. We will rebuild. It's going to take a while. And I appreciate the president coming down because his presence there Friday, and I was with him, uh, is saying to the bureaucracy, let's get moving on all this because we are one of the 50 states and we want to, we want as much private and volunteer uh, work that we can. Uh, but there are things that the federal government can do. All right, Senator Shelby, our thoughts with you and Thank your constituents you. as well. Thanks very much for the time.